Well, good morning and happy Wednesday. Woohoo, hump day. You come say good morning? You thinking about it? Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, everybody's awake. And mom's having her coffee, so <laughs> uh, we're having some coffee or tea. Enjoy. I got Chip and Deal this, this morning. And there's Miss Lois. <laughs> Right on time, you know. Yep, right on cue. There we go. There she is. <laughs> um, yeah. So I'm not sure what we're doing today. We'll see. I'm not sure. Really, I have no idea. Every day is just, you know, go flow. I know. Uh, but we'll see. Uh, I'll probably take a break from painting our bedroom. Yeah. Uh, because um, somebody has to fix a hole in the wall because I'm getting close to that area. So I got a lot, I got a lot done yesterday more than I thought I would get done. So and I, I don't really have to do a second coat, which I'm glad because I wasn't sure because the color was, you know, orange, the old color. But there are some areas where I kind of have to touch up. So I think that's all I have to do, which is fantastic. Um... But yeah, it's like once you see the difference that the new color makes and how it brightens up the room and just gives it a whole like new look and it looks refreshed. It's like you kind of do want to continue, <laughs> but I know like the hole has to get fixed first because it's like I'm going to want to keep going and going and going like the energizer bunny and not stop. So, <laughs> so if I could get the hole fixed, that'd be great. I know. Even if I have to fix it. I've watched enough homes on homes. Yeah. <laughs> I could do it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, just to um, get it fixed and I can like maybe finish it up and then go pick out the color for the back wall and yeah, presto. Mm -hmm. mm. Oh. Yeah, so um yeah, we'll figure out what we do, what what we will do today. Uh, I'm not sure. It's gonna go with the flow. We have been enjoying our first official week of summer vacation, so <laughs> we have. It's just it, it's been nice. It's been stress free, and you know, no more schoolwork. Um, we have to pick up whatever the boys have at school and still drop off Casey's school supplies that belong to school. We have till Friday, so. Um, we gotta do that, and but it's just nice. I mean, cause I I still get the messages from his teacher, Casey's teacher, and today is build a fort day and like watch a movie inside the fort, which sounds really really fun, you know. But I'm like, and then in the after then in the afternoon, which is me watching, and which you know, it's like okay, I'm kind of glad we pulled them out because. I'm not doing any real, real schoolwork. Right. I know the same thing. You want a Big Mac? All the. Sandwich? A peanut butter Big Mac sandwich, yeah. triple decker? Mm -hmm. All the schoolwork is, you know, was pretty much done last week. Last week of school is pretty much goofing off, so. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, so. I think he could still build a fort if he wanted to, but. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, that's what I mean, because, like, parents were just, you know, fed up, and it's like, yeah, pull a plug. You know, all my learning, just pull a plug. Mm -hmm. uh, so last night, I watched another Disney movie. Okay. If you're new and you're following me, I've been watching Disney movies in order ever since we what were in said? lockdown. What I'm watching said? Disney movies. No, no, I said If you are new or just starting to follow no, me. I said that. After Big I do, Mac. Big Mac. Sandwich. I don't know. Look, Big Mac Sandwich, right? Cassidy. How many do you want, buddy? Cassidy has to know everything on okay. the stage. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> when he doesn't need to know everything, but he thinks he does. <laughs> uh -huh. We're at that stage. Um, yeah, so I'm watching them in order. I've been watching them since the lockdown, our third lockdown, which we just got out of for free. We are free to shop for essentials and, you know, we can 
do what we want. Yeah, we're not grounded anymore. Um, so, but I started watching Disney movies because, it's like, you know, it's just it's depressing, you know, and it, it, re it really was. When somebody tells you, oh, you, you can't shop for that, that's not important, that's not essential, and it's like, well, who, who are you to tell me what's essential to me, you know, you know, it may be essential to me, but not essential to you, like, you know, it's just like, uh it's a whole mess, so I'm, I'm glad we're out of that, so hopefully we don't have to look back and go back to that, that area of life, you know, that's, you know, let's put that with all my learning, lock it up, put a bolt on the door, chain it up, and board it up, we don't want to see that again, right, <laughs> yeah, uh, like Pandora's box, do not, and I mean do not open, do not open, you know, <gasps> uh -huh. so, yeah, so, um, um, so, like, but, you know, when we were at the beginning of lockdowns, like, I started watching Disney movies in order, um, there are some I can't get, I can't find, we have the Amazon Fire Stick, and I can't find some movies on there, and YouTube isn't much help, because, because, um, you know, you, you have to rent, or you have to, in order to watch it on a different website, you know, you click in the description and it brings you somewhere else and they ask you for your, you know, credit card, that kind of information, red flags, and it's like, uh, uh no. Um, so it's like, if I can't find it on Amazon, Fire Stick, and on YouTube, I just, you know, whatever, just, okay, I'll just move on to the next one. And... I tried to find Davy Crockett, and I, I remember Davy Crockett, I remember watching that, I remember bits and parts of that, um, but I could not find it, so I skipped that one, and the next one was Lady and the Tramp, made in 1955, still as classic, it was just, oh, I love it, mm. yeah, the iconic, you know, dinner scene with the spaghetti, it was just so cute. Yeah, so I watched that one, and um, and I uh, keep watching it and watching it, and, and it's like, does it, anybody else really, you know, really like, you know how some cartoons, you just, some cartoon characters you just can't stand, especially when you have kids and they watch cartoons over and over again, and there'll be certain cartoon characters, you know, that you cannot stand because you, you're watching it too much, <laughs> and they start to annoy you. And um, and later the tramp, it's the aunt, right? Cause she she's babysitting the kid, the baby, and she's watching the dogs, and and she has her two cats who are Siamese and they're mischievous, you know, up to no good, right? Causing trouble, right? Um, making it look like like it was lady's fault when it was their fault. Um, uh, yeah, it's her. It was it was her because she was so mean to lady. It was like oh my gosh, and and um so quick to to judge you know when um tramp you know got the rat in the nursery and like saved the baby you know and she was like so quick to, to judge you know and i was like dude if you just lift up the the blanket there's a rat there but you know but yeah you really end up just liking her yeah yeah <laughs> mm. but it was a good movie happy ending you know and yeah. Well, we can watch it again if you want. You watched the beginning of it before you went to bed. You went up. You were still up, but you weren't really paying attention because you were on the tablet, so. <laughs> oh, Nintendo Switch. Okay, same thing, right? <laughs> What's the difference? Never a dull moment. Alright, so I'm going to finish my cup of coffee and so figure out what to Mac. eat. Uh, wow, that's a Big Mac GM sandwich. Let me see. There we go. Big Mac triple decker. You going to have room for that? This is good. Yeah. Yep. In case it gets toast. Alright. We're off to a good start. Oh, I got to make my shopping list. I got to start that today. Oh, yeah, not so fun part, you know, shopping for groceries on Friday. <laughs> mm. All right. Oh, that's good coffee. Um, I will, yeah, we'll see what we got up to today. Um, really, I don't know. Right now, I just want to finish my coffee and then 
Then we'll think about it. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So I hope everyone has a great day. And uh, yeah, I'll check back in soon. So I'm upstairs in my bedroom once again. And no, I am not painting. Even though that's really, really tempting. I really want to pick up a paintbrush and start painting. But I need that hole fixed in the wall first uh, before I start painting like a mad woman. Yeah um because it looks fabulous I love the color and it just looks refresh and just yeah a whole new look you know so um but yeah hopefully soon I can like finish painting with this color and that, that way I can go pick out the color for this wall and finish that wall and be done painting <laughs> yeah um but I am up here to go through those two big bags that my sister dropped off yesterday and these these are shoved with boys clothing if you did not watch yesterday's vlog my sister dropped off two bagfuls of boys clothing their size size medium so I thought um I'll go through them go through them with you guys I haven't been able to go because I haven't because we, we just cut a lockdown and I haven't been thrifting yet. I probably will go thrifting in a couple of weeks but I knew that the thrift stores and Winners, HomeSense, Marshalls, stores like that were going to be super busy and probably, you know, people lined up outside. So I'm going to let, let things simmer down a bit, you know, and wait till things aren't as crazy busy and then go. Uh, but I am itching, believe me, I am, I am really itching to go thrifting. I, because when I go thrifting, I'm always shopping for the next season for the boys' clothing. And, like, we are in end of June. And it's like, okay, even though summer start just started, but I'm going to be looking for fall stuff, you know, and for back to school stuff because you have to or else it's poof, you know, gone by the time, you know, August comes. Um, so, and that's what I usually do. I'm always shopping the, for the season that's next, right? And I haven't been able to do that. So this will help me a whole lot. So super grateful to get this. So let's um, see what we got. Um, they're full. Like they're 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 really you know packed in here, and the bags are heavy. I'll just go through a little bit. I won't go through like the whole thing with you guys and like bore you. But oh, this is nice. Like I think most of the stuff will fit them for this coming fall. Anyways, yeah, got a nice little little hoodie a little bit of a like camo going on the front there and it's just black on the back oh nice um a zip up hoodie this would be nice for fall it's um like a jacket like you know like kind of like a sweater jacket but it has the fleece inside to keep them warm that is really nice. I'm not sure. That might be maybe a little bit too big, but meh. I may, I may be able to wear it. Alright, got some jammy bottoms. Oh, minions. <laughs> Super. Okay, I'm going to kind of separate everything. Oh. Spies. These look really like, you know, like in good condition. Because this is one thing I can't find. Well, thrifting are PJs because PJs are usually the one thing that are like um, too too rough, you know. When they were younger, like babies and toddlers, I was able to find them jammies. But I found when they got bigger, it was hard to find jammies for them that were in good condition. Oh, I know somebody's gonna like these ones. Star Wars. <laughs> not just one, but two. I'm not sure if these ones will fit now. See, this; these ones are a little bit pilly, so I might not keep these ones. Here's my pet peeve when it comes to material. Is when it gets pilly. I don't like that. I just, no, I, I, I don't. <laughs> so I probably will be keeping those ones. Yeah, but as long as they're like, you know, not pilly, <laughs> it's good. Anybody else like that with material? It's like as soon as it goes pilly. And like I do have a um 
one of those fuzz things that you get at Dollarama and I'll use that for like my sweaters because sometimes there'll be spots on my winter sweaters. Okay, no problem. I don't mind. I can defuzz that. No problem. But when it's like the whole thing, I can't defuzz the whole thing. That's just a waste of time. So, um, yeah, I don't know. Might not keep that. We'll put that in the maybe pile. Put that down there. But these ones look okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, that's what I mean. Sometimes jammies are just too worn. Camo ones. Uh, won't be able to see them. Camouflaged. Okay, let's see. Built safe, built smart, get a permit. A message of Waterloo building standards. This is a t-shirt. Oh, LaSalle lighting strike. Okay, well, I probably won't keep that one. <laughs> The jersey. I've kept, um, I kept, um, Henry's, um, T ball jerseys. He has, I think, two, two or three. Um, and I'm keeping them so I can, like, one day, you know, make them into, like, a blanket or something like that. Okay. Oh, here's a bench. So, yeah, but I don't know if my kids would wear that. They might, but. They're like cartoon characters, like this one right here. Keep calm. <laughs> Eat a banana. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> that's funny. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> okay. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to continue going through these and go through the other big ginormous bag. Oh, here's a one scap with the American <laughs> flag for all American friends. <laughs> Yeah, a little faded, but, you know, still pretty good just for running around the house or whatever. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to keep going through this, and if I find anything interesting, I'll bring it back up. Oh, my goodness, that's, that's Nike. That looks really nice. Um, but that's not going to fit right now, I don't think. That's a large, so that probably won't fit right now. Oh, that's really nice. All right, I'm going to decide what to keep and what to, I guess, donate. Um, <laughs> this is true. Everyone loves a Canadian boy. <laughs> yeah, that's cute. <sighs> oh, I got some pants. It's good. That, that's one thing. Cause remember in thrifting last year, I had the hardest time finding pants. Because I think, um, because we were on lockdown, and I think maybe people weren't going through their fall stuff yet. Yeah, so uh, I don't know. These would probably be too big. Yeah, they're an extra large, but, you know, they will eventually fit into them. Um, still got good elastic. Always double check the elastic. Yeah, so I'll probably put this in a bin or something if I can keep it. I don't know. I, have, I don't think I have room in the dresser. A drawer but yeah something like this okay i'm going to do my piles what will be too big but will eventually fit them what will fit them now and fall and a pile for to donate and yeah okay i'm going to do that okay i have to show you this one it is a little worn um but i think you would still wear it i mean this is funny oh my gosh okay ready <laughs> They're pushing. He's pushing Darth Vader on the swing. That is so funny. <laughs> I mean, and it's a little hard, but yeah, he probably would wear it. Um, it might be a little bit big, but oh, that's funny. All right, another good one. Always be yourself, unless you can be Superman. Then always be Superman. And I remember Casey having a shirt like this when he was younger. So that we will definitely keep. That's a keeper. I can tell my sister's friend, her kids really liked Star Wars. Look busy. <laughs> Vader's coming. And they liked Teen Titans, which the boys also love. And look at this. Teen Titans go. And you have Robin. Beast Boy and Cyborg on the sleeve, on both sleeves, and there is a t-shirt, so 
so perfect. Um, T-shirt looks to be a little bit too big for right now, even though it says a medium. But sometimes, um, it's 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 weird because some mediums, you know, are t like they can be big. I, I think it depends on the make and the brand. Yeah, because this looks like it'd be too big. This looks more like a large to me. Um, but we'll put that aside for when he fits into it. But yeah, so far so good. And you know, you make it really hard to get any work done. Uh-huh. <laughs> Have you claimed that jacket? Huh? Uh, I'm talking to you. Hey, yeah. And she's like, who, who me? <laughs> All right. Well, she is very happy right now. She's having a nap. She found the puffy coat. Oh, oh, and that coat has a rep in it. I think that's what that looks like. I think it does. Yes, it does. I just noticed it. She's happy, though. <laughs> Guess what? That's yours. <laughs> Yeah, there's a, it looks like there's a rip in the shoulder seam. Um, I, I wasn't, I probably wasn't going to keep it anyways, so it's just too big. It's a size large. Um, yeah, so in that second bag was like four coats and dress pants. Well, kind of like, yeah, dress, you know, slash casual pants. Um, this one is from... American Eagle because it has the eagle right by the pocket and they look like they were worn just a few times so um, But they're they're way too big one's a size 12 one size 10. They're not going to fit into them for a long time um, and I, and I, I don't want to hold on to them, you know, and they waste they take up space and It's like I don't want to keep them for oh just in case, you know, like they they don't really wear pants like this. I mean, I'm trying to think, like, when, when we went to church, you know, before all this craziness started, and we haven't been back yet, but when they went, I think they wore pants like the like these, but, yeah, similar, maybe similar, yeah. Um, but I don't want to keep them. Um, I can't really remember what they were, actually. Just, like, you know, I'm like, that's how long ago it's been, you know? And, oh, yeah, so... Um, yeah, so I don't really want to keep them. I know, like, they're really nice, but I'd rather have somebody who can use them. Keep, you know, have them and need them, maybe, because they really are nice. And I'm wondering how much my village would charge oh, for American Eagle. Oh, I know, probably around 10, 12 bucks. <sighs> Your character. You are. Yes, you are. Happy as can be. Oh, you know what? I think it's because it's a downfill coat. It's one of those coats. I think so. I think that's what the label said. Anyways, okay. So that was pretty much it in the second bag. I'm going to go through it because I don't. I like. I th the boys don't need any winter coats because the coats that they had this past winter season they're going to fit next winter season, and then next year. They're all set for coats. I don't need any winter coats because a couple years ago I bought them. Uh, yeah, I think it was about two years ago, and they, I bought them the Canadiana, very good name brand. Um, can be pricey, but it's a really good name brand. And I bought them two winter coats, and they were forty dollars, but they were that's clearance, but they were regular sixty, and I bought both of them. And uh, they're a size large, and but they didn't have any media. But I figured, you know what, for that price, yeah, I'm keeping them. And then for some, something like that, I don't mind, you know, keeping and having in a storage downstairs with all the other winter stuff, because that I know they will use, you know. But um, probably not for like maybe um, another year, you know. Um, maybe next next winter season, not the winter season coming up, but the following one. So, but like, the pants, I don't, you know, that's like, you know, the, they're not going to fit into these right away. And I don't know if they would even wear them. Uh, they're so picky with their pants too, you know. So, um, yeah, and that's why I don't really need, this is a light one. 
but they don't really need it. It's, uh, that's a size large, so yeah, these ones are in great condition. Yeah. Well, this one is a large too. Yep. I don't know, size seven. That would fit them like right now. But I don't need it, so yeah. So we will pass it on to the next person and I'll be, make a donation to Buy Village. <sighs> and the coat that she's lying on has a rip in it, so I guess she can have that coat. <laughs> You know, I should. I should buy, like, a cat bed. And I think we've had a cat bed for her when we first got her. But, you know, she was like, yep, yeah, no mics. You know, she never she never slept in it. I think I got it at Walmart. And, you know, it's like she looked at it once and I was like, yeah, no, you know. Um, but if I got, like, a cat bed and put that in it, you know, did, did something like that, you know, to go. <laughs> Is that comfy? <laughs> Her one eye's peeked open. She's like, I know you're talking about me. Uh, Alright, so let me just put everything away. So I did find some stuff. Um, and it's, Some stuff will fit them soon. Later on in the season. Oh, and there was also shorts. One, two, three, four. Um, they might not wear these ones because these ones are dressier. But five pairs of shorts. Uh, my kids just like this kind of material. You know, they're really picky. They don't really like this kind of material, um, this material or jean material. So, um, yeah. So, like, this stuff I'll, I will wash and they can wear now. And there's a few shirts I'll fit them now, but the rest will probably have to wait because they can be a little bit too big. But yeah. All right. So, so far, so good. So, let me put this away. And when I come back, we will do this. <laughs> I know, I know you've been waiting, and so have I. <laughs> and um, yes, but I had to do the clothing first because if I didn't do the clothing first, I would have just totally, this would have been the rest of my day, and I wouldn't want to do anything else. So, <laughs> yeah. All right, let me take care of this and we'll get right to this. Okay, so I had to get ready officially, you know, put my ears on. I mean, it is Disney, okay, so we gotta do it right. I am wearing Minnie Mouse, so. And these are the ears that my parents bought me quite a few years ago when they went to California and they visited my aunt and uncle. So, okay. Dorables. <laughs> TikTok made me do it, okay? <laughs> because I first saw these on TikTok. Just like we with like anything else, right? It's like, oh my gosh. I didn't know those existed. Where are those? Where can I buy them? And I went to Walmart, uh, when was it? I think last weekend. And lo, lo and behold, they are on the shelf. I'm like, ah, mine. $14.97, but you know, you're paying for the name Disney. Um, so here it's, here it is. And here are all the characters that you get. You get, 62 62 characters all together and in a series four you can get five six or seven dwarves so let's see what we get <laughs> oh and i'm doing this also in my bedroom because this is mom's okay <laughs> <I know. laughs> because the boys love blind bags and which boy wouldn't or which kid wouldn't love a blind bag or my kids love blind bags so this blind bag is for mom. Yes, and she wants to do it all herself. So no help. Okay, so you ready? Oh, this is so exciting. <sighs> yeah. Okay. Oh, look at that. Open up the door. Isn't that cute? Oh my gosh, who thought of this? Okay. Oh well. Open here. One, two, three, four. <gasps> We got six. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, let's go. Okay, okay. <laughs> All right, so you pull it back. Okay. And then you get those really tiny. And then you get a little bag. I'm just a big kid. I love Disney. You know, who doesn't? 
And I think this quarant this quarantine lockdown craziness has, has made me love Disney even more. And I can't open it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Stephanie proof. Oh, there we go. Ah! It's Dory. Oh, so stinking cute. It's okay. First one was Dory. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Should we just. Okay. So, first one was Dory. Let's open this one. So exciting. And plus I blame, you know, social media too. <laughs> yeah. Okay, this one was easier to open. Oh, it's the uh, bad guy from from Rapunzel, you know. Oh, what's her name? You guys you guys are probably showing it out. Mother You gotta be able to find it. Now oh, here we go. Mother Gothel. Okay, got uh, first a bad guy. Okay. And I think it does it come with a checklist because that would be fun too. <laughs> to check them off. Yeah. Okay. Let's see what this one is. Okay. Oh, here's the checklist. It fell out. Okay, so we're gonna check them off. And I'm thinking if I get like you know, and you know, because the only thing with something like this, yeah, you're going to get doubles. Um, but I figured with any doubles that I get, I can just like do a giveaway. Oh, it's Olaf! Olaf! Oh, look how cute he is! Oh, do you want to build a snowman? <laughs> Oh, oh, so stinking cute. Okay, two more. I could have thought of this. They're they're millionaires. You know, they're rich. <laughs> it's Buzz. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. I'm a big kid. <laughs> I never grew up. Don't grow up. You know, don't grow up. It's a trap. Don't do it, okay? <gasps> what gives? Welcome to real life. The power went out. <sighs> Window is open for some breeze. Okay, last one. <laughs> oh, it's Boomba. <laughs> Oh, stick it cute. Oh, okay. None from Beauty and the Beast yet, but um, I did really want um, the. Oh, yay! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Look, we've had our issues with the power and the Wi Fi, so I've had enough of this spook. Anyways, um, yeah. So, and get better. Look at Pumba. Um, whew. Now I gotta set my clock again. Oh, that's a nice breeze, though. Um, yeah, I really want the Beauty and the Beast ones, obviously, and then Aladdin and Toy Story. Like, I want all of them, but there's just, you know, certain ones that you want. So, I'm going to <laughs> pray that the power stays on. Oh, please. Okay, so here we go. Here are all the collections. So I'm gonna get like a marker and check off the ones that I have. Oh, it's so exciting. I wanna go back for another one, I know. Oh, but they're adorable. I get it, what, you know, I get why they're called adorable because they are adorable. I mean, so stinking cute. Oh, I love it. Yeah. Oh, what does um, different colors mean? Oh, okay. Um, okay, so if it has 
a white dot, it's common. If it has a green dot, it's rare. Um, blue is, <clears throat> is ultra rare. Special edition is purple. Okay, so let's see. Oh, Buzz is actually ultra rare. Wow, awesome. Um, let me see who else I have. Oh, same with Dory. She is ultra. Oh, just so I know. Oh, wow. Um, Dory is actually rare. Um, let me see. Olaf is common. Um, Mother Gothel is rare. Poop Pumba is common. I got them all. Oh, no. What about Jasmine? I don't think I said Jasmine. Where is Jasmine? Here she is. Um, common. Okay, cool. So I got um, a couple ultra rare. Well, one ultra rare and a couple rare. Very cool. Okay, power, you better stay back on. Oh, so yeah, I'm... What? One sec. Alright, so super excited. I really wanted to get more, so um, I will definitely be doing this again. That was really fun. This is an adult, adult version. Yeah, <laughs> blind bags. Oh, I mean, we never had the stuff as kids. We didn't have fun stuff like blind bags and, you know, adorables. We didn't have this. Kids, kids today are lucky. They have so much that we do not grow up with. Um, <laughs> you know, um, we had like remember when McDonald's would have like adult toys, like if you bought a a value meal like if you bought a big mac meal and you had to like pay maybe like four dollars extra or something like that to get the item that was what we we had that but you know and i miss those days i miss skin stuff like that at mcdonald's you used to get cups and glasses um you, and Bur burger king did it too burger king i remember i remember had the toy story puppets when the movie came out and I remember McDonald's had when I think it was Muppet Treasure Island probably around that time or no maybe yeah I mean I know because I had all four of them and I wish I had them now it was the Muppets and they had they were in hockey gear and it was Fonzie, Kermit, Miss Piggy and I think one more maybe Gonzo no maybe Gonzo there was at least four maybe Gonzo um, I used to have all four of them, and it's like, why did I get rid of them? You know, it's like, stuff like that, when I go thrifting, I really want to look for stuff that I had as, like, a teenager, even as a kid that I grew up with, that I want. No, I still do have, like, the McDonald's Batman glasses from when, um, the movie came out, I think Batman Returns. I still have those. I'm glad I kept those, <laughs> but it's like, I wish I kept the other items too, right? And you don't, you don't realize it until it's like too late and you're like, oh man, you know, I mean, that's when, that's when it was good. Yeah. But we never had surprise bags. We didn't have Lego bags, you know, I mean, this is awesome. Like, so I'm just going to, you know, yeah, have fun. Be a kid again. Cause I am, I'm a big kid. Um, yeah, <laughs> and I was really happy to get Buzz because Buzz, I mean, like, Toy Story is one of my favorite movie series because it was the first movie that the boys got into, and they watched over and over and over and over and over again, and they fell in love, and that's actually, like, their toys, when they, like, outgrow the toys, the one toy I'm going to keep for like you know their kids or future grandkids is their toy story toys because they're too special to like donate so i'm making sure you know that they don't get they don't get rid of them you know um and i make sure and i'm not, I'm not gonna get rid of them because they're too special you know because it's toy story and toy story means so much to us and you know i remember seeing the first toy story and the second Toy Story in movie theater. I don't think I saw the third Toy Story. Um, but I remember the day that Arillin and I got engaged. We got engaged and that night we played the Wii. We played the bowling on the Wii. But we also watched, um, because it just came out on DVD, Toy Story 3. We watched Toy Story 3 that night. Um, yeah, for our, for, you know, movie feature. 
So that's why, like, you know, Toy Story has a lot of meaning for us. And, um, and actually, that's funny, now, now I think of it, when we, we went on our honeymoon in Disneyland, that was the first character we saw, was not Mickey, not Minnie. Uh, it wasn't Buzz or Woody. We never got to see Buzz. Well, we we didn't see Woody, but we didn't see Buzz. Um, but the first character that we saw was a Green Army Man. So yeah, and I still am planning on doing um a video on our honeymoon. Um, I'm gonna start working on that soon. But yeah, that was like the first character, and the hubby got his picture taken with him. And I, I don't know how the person inside that costume walks like that because they have the thing on their feet, you know. And oh, uh, it was something else to see. But yeah, and then Henry had a Toy Story birthday party. I think when he turned three. And Casey wants a Toy Story birthday party this year. So, yeah, we love Toy Story. I think a lot of people do. It's just one of those movies that brings back so many memories. So, yeah. So, I'm going to check Mark off what I got and make a stop at Walmart. I <laughs> know. Oh, that was really good. I'm not surprised. So I got six. Yeah. I just thought I would get five. So, yeah. Anyway, this vlog is probably really long. Oh. I had to sneeze. <laughs> so welcome to real life. If you like this kind of stuff, make sure you um subscribe, hit that thumbs up, and all that good stuff. Leave a comment down below and help my channel to grow. And make sure you, you subscribe because I was filming at the right time and the power went out. And thank goodness I came back on shortly after because I am not going through that poop again. So, <laughs> but luckily, like you know, there's a breeze, so it would not have been so too bad. But you know, when the Wi-Fi, like when the power goes out, the Wi-Fi goes out and you know it's like you know you think that the kids world that the kids world is over you know <laughs> you know because like they can't play their games and they can't watch youtube right and it's like oh no it's the end of the world <laughs> you know oh uh, yeah so thank thankfully I came back on uh but yeah subscribe it's like that that was not planned that was real life <laughs> that reaction real reaction so hit that thumbs up and subscribe yeah join in on the fun and the craziness and you can see which adorables that i get because i am going to keep them and i'm going to find a spot for them and duplicates um because i know like okay well you know what we had as kids we had the sticker book with the cards i had little mermaid and do you know how many duplicates of those you know that we got but we had to have a full book we had to have every single one which is like impossible to do oh my gosh the money my parents spent <laughs> and i did i did i think i filled up that sticker book and you know lots of duplicates later you know but at least like with these kind of duplicates you can either sell them or do a giveaway. So I will probably, you know, do a giveaway once I have like, you know, oh, I have to do the giveaway. Yeah. Anyways, I think they're super cute. Yeah, so this is for mom to do. <laughs> no. Yeah. Us moms like to have fun too. Yeah. Can't let we can't let our kids have all the fun, okay? <laughs> okay, so I am going to um burn these bags back downstairs because they're gonna go to Valley Village and I have a pile I'm keeping. Um, I have to put away what is too big. And then there's a couple things I might not keep. I don't know. I'm still thinking about. So, yeah. And Lois, Lois is back on the coat. Yeah, she's comfy. It's one of those down-filled coats, I think. So, it's, like, really puffy. Yeah. That's why. Yeah. <laughs> Makes a great cat bed. <laughs> Alright, guys. So, I just checked the vlog. And it's, like, 45 minutes plus um <laughs> um so i am just gonna say good night because the vlog is already long enough and i don't think there's not gonna be much else going on besides doing boring adult chores and you know not so much fun stuff but somebody has to do it and mary poppins still hasn't flown in yet um, I don't know what's taking her so long. Is she waiting for the border to open up maybe? I don't know, but she still hasn't arrived. So, <laughs> yeah. So, um, yeah. So this was really fun to do and I'm definitely going to be doing more of these. So make sure you're, you are subscribed because more of this is coming your way. Um, this is fun. I mean, I know I am not the only adult that shops in the 
the toy section for themselves. I know I'm talking to you. Yes, you. You shop in the toy section too, don't you? It's fun, isn't it? <laughs> it really is. Like I said, don't grow up. It's a trap. You know? Mm -hmm. Stay young at heart and buy the stuff that makes you happy. And this is just a box full of happiness, pretty much. Yes. And it's fun. Now I know why my kids get excited over blind bikes. I get it. Mm hmm Yeah. So, yeah. All right. So more of that coming up. Um, it'd be really hard not to buy the whole shelf. But <laughs> no, I know. But $15 does add up. So, yeah. But that was really fun. And now I'm hooked. Thanks to TikTok. And now I just want to grab every box. Yes, let's go to Walmart. <laughs> I know. So, um, yeah, so I will see you guys tomorrow with a cup of coffee. We'll see what we get up to tomorrow. Today was just a packed day because I had to go through the clothing and then we did this and then the power went out. And that was a that's a real reaction. You like real life? Well, there you go. Hit that subscribe button. <laughs> no. And uh, yeah, and I got so excited. Like, oh, yeah. Anyways, I better, you know, because I'm just going to keep chatting and. The vlog will never be ending, you know. The never-ending vlog. It just keeps on going. <laughs> so, um, thanks for watching. I really, truly, really appreciate it. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Um, leave a comment down below. Share the video with your friends. And, um, subscribe. And just, yeah, help my channel to grow. And so we can go up and beyond to infinity and beyond, baby. That's right. Um, yeah. Alright, that's all, folks. And I will see you tomorrow. So take care, be blessed, and bye for now.